On today's program, we are going to take a look at education. In public teachings and in school and also in uh, learning programs and videos like these, information is presented and, well, information uh, seeks to portray a, a certain thought. So you're hearing a topic, whether it's through a story form or point form or whatever, and information is being presented to you, but there's a, a lesson to be learned. If I control the information that you receive, I could control basically how you think. And this is a fundamental principle in teaching. And the reason I say this is because if I, was, if I were to give you all the information at once and expect you to learn, you wouldn't. You would be overwhelmed, basically, but you would not be able to see uh, the steps in which this information needs to be put into practice. So that is why teachers will give little bits of information in stages and this is to help a person learn, like you'll receive a certain amount of information, practice, you'll learn how to work and manipulate that piece of information and when you become accustomed to it, then you learn something new and you move on. So controlling information is not a bad thing. It's not a bad phrase. It's not a... Uh, well, the word controlling is somewhat negative in that you don't, nobody wants to be controlled. But it's not so much about being controlled. It's the information needs to be, to be fed. So just like eating, you, you don't eat the whole plate of food at once. You eat little by little. But then we come to the point where... How much information do you need to be able to stand on your own, to be able to function on your own, to be able to develop and learn and progress? And this is where we need to figure out how much information we need. So there is such a thing as too much information. There is such a thing as we begin to, the learning process basically is you receive information, you process it, you apply it and you learn from your own experience concerning the information. Well, what happens if you get too much information at once or too much of irrelevant information that has nothing to do with your life? One of the things that may come about is that you have this big stores of information. Yeah, you might learn the information, but if you have never applied it and never practiced it and never gained experience from it, then it's useless information. So in the learning process, this is where we need to figure out now uh, how much information we need to, to function, one, but how much information we need to grow and what information we need to grow. And this is very important. So this is where we need to decide when we are being educated or when we are learning something, what information is relevant to where we want to go in life. And all this is important because everybody seems to be focusing on the same thing. And that thing is called money. But beside money, all that money symbolizes, which is wealth, um, affluence, um, security, and comfort. So people want money to, be, to have comfort and to be secure in their future. But are we being educated? Because if we look at education as a as the way we are now, we are looking at ed education as a commodity. It is something to be bought and purchased, and it has a particular timeline and it has an expiry date. Because we well we well, log logically speaking, if I if I do a degree now, realistically in five years that degree is no longer useful because they are are five years worth of students following the same degree and there are changes in the syllabus and all these things. So education is a commodity now and we expect certain things of education. We expect education to give us the life that we want and the, the comfort and the status and the wealth and the security. But I think 
because we think like this about education that we have really put education into a confined space within our mind we have limited ourselves in our learning ability because we have not we have commodified education to the point where we think of education as only being applicable to school and the reason this is bad is because if I condition myself to only learn in school, only learn what is being taught in the books, only learn what is being uh, presented by a lecturer or a teacher, we have to ask ourselves, well, what are we learning in school? Because I'm a human being, everybody's human beings. And what does a human being need to function? Do human beings need money to function? No. Do human beings need comfort to function? No. Do human beings need wealth to function? No. Security is one of the things a human being might need, but I think it's more of a want. Well, all the other things are wants too, but even if we say security as a, as a something to function by, I don't think Humans need security as a function. They would like to have it, but they don't need it because, well, basically being insecure or unsure about the future is what drives productivity and what drives innovation. The fact that we don't know what the future holds is what drives us to secure a better future. So we don't need security, we need the idea that we want security. So what is being taught in the educational system pertains to those things. But what about the rest of life? Like for example, health and relationships and how to properly interact with other people in society. So not one-on-one -on -one relationships, but the relationships with our environment. And environment could be nature as well as people as well as animals so where do we learn these things how do we learn these things because teachers don't teach us this in school they teach us the subjects that they teach that they are paid to teach students and it's up to you to learn because at the end you write an exam if you pass you pass so if you fail does that, does that mean you fail at life and this could be a good gauge to see how how edu education is important or how important education is to us because if education was important to life formal education i mean then somebody without a formal education would not be able to survive in the world and there are lots of examples of people who were not educated a lot of our our ancestors did not have a formal education and they survive very well now, well, this brings us to the question, what is an education if an education is not that uh, commodified thing that we pursue in school? So I would say education is the process of learning. So it's not something that we say we could put in a timeline and say from 5 to 25 or it'll cost this much, or I expect to live this kind of life based on my education. I think education is a process. It's where we pick up the qualities and the virtues and the skills to live. So the skill of how to interact with people, the skill of how to maintain relationships, the skill of social and moral and ethical values, the skill of how to take care of any living creature, not just children, but how to be a good parent. All these things fall under education because we, these are things we need to learn. But are we learning them? Are we um, being taught the proper tools and techniques? Are we being given the proper information with regards to how to live proper lives? And by proper, you could apply the word proper to mean anything you want to mean. 
So if by a proper life you want to say that you have wealth, well then, well, let's define wealth. Let's define health. Let's define uh, luxury and status. We have to define these things to know what we need to learn in order to have these things. Because a lot of people think, well, I want wealth and health and and security and comfort. And to each person, this means something else. So it cannot be a standard educational process to achieve infinitely variable definitions for or meanings rather for those def for those words. So I think because we have commodified and standardized education to the point where we say education is this thing that is going to give me this, that we are not being educated because we have limited what education means. We need to broaden our perception of what education is. If education is geared to making me a productive and better individual, or, well, not say better, productive and balanced individual, then education should encompass more than academic studies. And that's the basic, simple train of thought there. It's not about what job you have. It's what life you have. And the education is geared towards giving you the life you want. Because even in today's society, in Trinidad and Tobago, a lot of people are educated, a lot of people have money, but a lot of people don't have security or health or comfort in their lives because of a lot of different factors. So we need to, need to probably assess what education means and come up with a new definition maybe. So this is my short presentation on the educational process. And I probably we need to really sit down and think, not look in any textbooks or look for a definition on the outside, but sit, sit and think, well, what does education mean to me?